Whether you're on Android or iOS, I know there are a lot of you out there using the Gboard application as your keyboard of choice. But did you know that Google is collecting your usage statistics, your usage patterns, and possibly snippets of your audio as well? Thankfully, these settings are easy to disable, even though they are opt-in by default. So let me show you how. To begin, we're first going to need to bring up the keyboard application. So let's find an input text box somewhere and then tap into it. Now, we're going to look for the gear icon from within this top row of Gboard shortcuts. If you don't see it in this list here, tap the four square icon right there and you should see it somewhere in this box. Let's go ahead and tap on into the Gboard settings area. And then we just need to scroll down a little bit until you see the privacy menu. And this is where you will see the opt-in settings that I mentioned earlier. So by default, Gboard is set up to share your usage statistics with Google. If this is not something that you want to happen, then you just want to tap on this toggle so that it shifts to the left side and it will be turned off. There's also an improve for everyone toggle here. And this one is actually monitoring the words and phrases that you type in. And it's looking for patterns that tend to be common. These words and patterns of words also get sent up to Google servers by default. So you're gonna to want to be sure that you turn this toggle off as well if you don't want the things that you type in to be sent to their servers. And before I let you go, I wanna talk about a couple of other features here. One is labeled personalize for you, and the other is called audio donations. The first is actually a way for Gboard to locally save things that you're typing within the app. And then it will reference this database to help itself improve the typing and voice dictations that you do within the app. This feature is also enabled by default, and you can keep it on if you'd like, since this data is not being sent to Google's data center, at least right now. But you may still want to turn this feature off if you don't want anything like this stored on your device. And then the audio donations feature down here is actually disabled by default. So there's not really anything that you need to change here. Although it's definitely a good idea to check and make sure that it wasn't enabled in the past. Or if you want, you can go ahead and enable this. That way Google will be better at detecting what everyone is saying as it uses your snippets to help train its algorithms. These are the main privacy related options that are available within the Gboard application from Google. I am personally a big fan of this keyboard as it's really good when it comes to typing with swipe gestures. And I suspect there are a few reasons why you may be using the application as well. Just be aware of what options are enabled by default and be sure to visit this menu if you need to change one of the features that I mentioned here today. But I would be curious to hear what you all think of the Gboard application. Are you happy with how the app functions or would you like to see some changes made in the near future? please share your thoughts down in the comment section below. And I want to thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. It really means a lot, and I'm honored to see people doing this more frequently lately. Now please, don't forget to give this video a like, 
and subscribe to the channel as well for more Android application tips like this.